Now we will assume that we have contacted our bank and they have confirmed that the customer has paid in full the invoice that we created in the previous lesson. We want to update that info into the SAP system and for this we will post the incoming payment but at the same time we will clear the open invoice. Uh, for this, uh, well, let's start the new Fiori app and uh, this one is the one uh, to post incoming payments. Uh, this is a really nice app because we can uh, use this app to process all these steps but everything just in one screen. So let's switch to account receivable and here we have the post incoming payments. As we were saying, this is uh, a nice app. By, I mean, uh, that we can run the the full steps, all the steps in just one screen. Uh, for this, we have a lot of sections. We have one at the top uh, and two at the bottom. Uh, actually, the one at the top it's subdivided in in three main sections. And uh, well, the first one is just for general information for to, to post the payment. For example, the company code, the dates. The one in the middle is for bank data, the GL account that that uh, is like the bank account and the amount, of course, maybe some fees. And well, in the open item selection, we have one just one very important field in which we have to enter the ID of the customer that has paid, and that we want just uh, to clear with that payment and invoice. On the bottom left, the system will show the open uh, items, uh, just uh, the open invoices that we uh, want to use to, well, we want to select them. And those will be uh, coming when we select them. Uh, they will come here on the right hand side because this is the items to be cleared section. So, well, uh, first let's start actually with the company code. So we don't have the correct one. Let's just uh, enter our city company code. Uh, for the posting date, the date, uh, the proposed date uh, is correct, and uh, let's also select the same date for journal entry date. Uh, the journal entry type is correct. This is the just like document uh, type for uh, customer payments. The set that is correct. And now, well, let's switch to the bank data section. And first, uh, well, we need to enter the ID of the account. Uh, this is a GL account that maps all the, the postings uh, 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 to have a match with one of our bank accounts. So let's just enter uh, the one for Bank of America. Okay. Now let's enter the amount. Actually, the amount will be um, uh, different uh, uh, from the invoice because remember we have, uh, because of the payment terms, a discount. So well, let's enter. This is the uh, money that was uh, transferred or just deposited in our account, and of course, then we have to come here to just yes, right hand side, and uh, well, we let's enter the ID of our customer. Okay, and well, with this we can just click uh, propose items so that the app will query the database is looking for these invoices, uh, open open invoices, and will propose the valid uh, open invoices here on the left. Actually, right now we only have one. It's the one for uh, uh, 220,000 euros. And this is exactly the one that we want to clear using this incoming payment. So for this, let's just click the big clear push button. And uh, again, what is interesting, just you have to remember that uh, the amount here for the invoice is this amount. But as you can see, we have a correct balance just because uh, um, the system is already considering the discount uh, uh, that should be considered because of the payment terms. Again, that was a 3% discount if the customer paid in the first 14 days. Actually, this date uh, falls uh, in that uh, interval. Uh, it's actually the same date uh, we used uh, to um, post the invoice. So definitely it's within uh, time to, to claim that 3% discount. And the system knows this, so it will automatically propose the discount. So it's a discount of 6,600 euros. Of course, uh, if we, for any given reason, we uh, want to modify uh, the, the proposed discount, we could do it. But right now, this is exactly what we want. Uh, the full amount was uh, 220 with the discount. Uh, uh, now we have a match with the um, money that was paid by the customer. So let's just come here at the bottom uh, and let's just click post. 
of course, well, the system will uh, create a, a new journal entry, a new document to uh, clear the item. So we can just click display to have a look at, at that document. And as you can see, well, of course, we have all the header data here. But important, of course, we have the um, uh, incoming payment, the, the incoming amount. We are considering the discount. We have the tax, of course, and we have the uh, um, the uh, amount that clears the, the original uh, open uh, account receivable that we had uh, previously uh, with this customer. So now that we are uh, good and we have seen all this, let's just quit the app. Let's just go back to the main screen. But again, actually, we will quit now the app. Yes, uh, it has already been posted successfully. So that's fine. Let's just come back to our Fury Launchpad. And with that, we are just finishing this lesson. And of course, we invite you to keep learning with all of our trainings. And we want to thank you for all your attention.